know something? What, what's that? You know all those people that was walking around that were zombies? Mm -hmm. They looked incredibly bored. Yeah. Those were people that didn't have Adelphia cable. <laughs> well, you know, I was watching the trailer and they're like, people that just won't die even though they're already dead. I'm like, kind of like this show. Yeah. <laughs> there, there was the one zombie with the butt. There was. Was that considered nudity? No. I was a little uncomfortable. Everybody's that. got one. Uh, yeah. Well, Renee has no butt. Some but butts are bigger than others. Are you saying something? I'm yeah. missing Night Shadow already. <laughs> anyway, I was noticing the uh, Spook Show trailer that was on there. Yeah, man, you missed that. I, being bored when you were, you missed the whole Spook Show thing. Yeah, but I actually did get to go to a Spook Show. Yeah, but I mean, back in the old days, it yeah, was cool. Because what a spook show was is a really crappy magician <laughs> <laughs> put on a show in a really crappy rundown theater and showed an even crappier movie. Mm -hmm. And he would have monsters come out uh, in the audience during what they called a blackout. Right. And it was corny as, as all gets great. Did they have puppets? No. They didn't. We have puppets. <laughs> but... So, uh, speaking of the spook show, yeah, Dr. Our, Shocker. Our good friend, Dr. Shocker. Yes. Horror host extraordinaire. Horror host for uh, the Monsters uh, channel. Yeah. And he does the thing on AMC, uh, American Movie Classics. And so. Dr. Shocker's relative, mm -hmm. Dan, Dan, Dan Roebuck, Roebuck, actually appeared no on the show. No relation to Sears. No, no relation to Sears Roebuck. Actually appeared on the show. And you know something, uh, later on, mm -hmm. uh, Night Shadow was talking about Dr. Shocker, and he kind of called him a horror host wannabe. Yeah, he called him out. So we called Dr. Shocker, <laughs> and we told him, and Dr. Shocker would like to make a challenge to Night Shadow, that he's going to come on this show, and we're going to host a game show, and it's going to be a battle of the horror host. That's right. We're going to have a horror host face-off, ladies and gentlemen. We'll have trivia. It's going to be a throwdown. But not like it was with White oh, Rabbit. Please. No. <laughs> it's going to be a graceful throwdown mm -hmm. between. There's nothing graceful with Night Shadow. <laughs> between Night Shadow and Dr. Shocker. And we'll see just who knows their stuff. Yeah, I wonder who's going to win. Well, I stay don't know. You know, Night Shadow doesn't even know about this yet. No, he doesn't. But if he's watching, he does now. Night Shadow, you have been called out. You've been called out. I know you accept every challenge. That's right. You have been challenged to a face off, and we accept it on your behalf because we knew that. Uh, Can we? Yes, we can. Can we write well, checks for him, too? <laughs> well, we could, but they'd probably bounce. <laughs> I think Night Shadow's checks would bounce yeah. if, if he wrote them. But I'm saying I don't think Night Shadow would want to turn down a challenge. So no. on, be, on Night Shadow's behalf, we have accepted, and there is going to be a competition, a face-off between Dr. Shocker and Night Shadow to see who is the supreme And you know, host. let me put out the, the even further challenge. We've got Night Shadow and Dr. Shocker. Okay. I challenge Butch Patrick to come That's on the show. That's right. And we'll have a three-way uh, battle of the, uh, the network horror host. I'll tell you what. Butch Patrick, you can even bring Ivana. Oh, yeah. And it'll be Butch and Ivana there against be two on his team. Night Shadow and Dr. Shocker. He can have because the privilege Night of two Shadow people. Because Night Shadow is like two people. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I love Night Shadow. He's my buddy. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Every inch of him. Every inch of him. Yeah. He's just a big old teddy bear. Now you saw King Kong on there earlier. What do you think mm -hmm. about the new King Kong? It's out on DVD now. Oh, you mean that, that cartoon movie that Universal put uh, out? Why are they afraid of him? Because all you have to do is take a bulkhead eraser and he'd be gone. I don't know why they felt it was necessary to remake King Kong. And you know what? Everybody... Making everything over. No, everybody loved it. Yeah, that's because we said on our radio show it's going to be the worst movie ever made and... That's like a sign it's going to be the best movie ever made. Everybody just goes against what we say. Doesn't nobody matter. likes what we like. Yeah, nobody likes us. Yeah. <laughs> we like this show. Yeah, but that goes to prove. Oh, come no, on. <laughs> they no, have I'm like kidding. millions kidding. of viewers. Of course they do. Yeah, and they all live in one house in East L.A. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so what did you think of the King Kong remake? I haven't seen it. Uh -huh. It's three and a half hours, and I can't wait that long to go to the bathroom. Because <laughs> you get this giant Coke, you know, and, and forget it. You're flat out for the movie. Well, I don't understand what the big hoo-ha is lately about doing remakes. You know, that they've done The Hills Have Eyes. Mm -hmm. Wes Craven actually was involved with that. He made the original. He did the remakes. I guess it's okay. So he did the remake, too. Why would he remake his own film? <laughs> to make up for mistakes he made in the I first suppose. one. I suppose it's better than, like, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. That now, was that was... Pretty bad. The to only reason, okay. Toby Hooper was involved uh, in kind of a way, but. The only reason that I sat through that film 
was I was praying that Jessica Biel would get killed in the end. Oh, come on. No. She's hot. She needed to die. You okay. say all cheerleaders need to die. And she would fall in that category. She needed to die. I, I can honestly say we're the only one that shocked Rob Zombie because when we interviewed Rob Zombie, I was asking for uh, more necrophilia and you were asking for more death for cheerleaders. Yeah. The first House of a Thousand Corpses was great because they had cut up cheerleaders in the trunk of a car and that automatically makes it an A movie. Why don't you like cheerleaders? Why don't I like cheerleaders? Yeah, rah. No, because... They shake their little pom-poms, they do their job. <sighs> They're the antithes antithesis of everything that an intelligent girl should hate. Yeah, I bet you cheerleaders started out as Girl Scouts. Probably did. Because they're distributing their cookies all you know, over the place. You know, we're not, all the people that might have listened to Cult Radio or Go-Go are not going to listen now because we're talking against cheerleaders and <laughs> popular people. And Don't want to get thrown off the air again. I think we might. Well, you we know, can't now. We're independent. One of our listeners at Cult Radio Go-Go is a viewer of this show, Dave from L.A. That's right. Yeah. Dave from Woodland Hills. He's got good taste. He listens to us. He watches Night Shadow. That's right. So if you're out there, Dave from Woodland Hills, hello. Go to our website so you can figure yeah. out where we moved to. <laughs> Call RadioGoGo.com. Yeah, that's right. You know, we need to remind people once again, we can't talk enough about the fact it's going to be 13 years for Night Shadow. 13, and we haven't even... Is it about time you got a job? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's why he's not here today. <laughs> he's out in the unemployment line. Yeah. Do they give the horror hosts line. unemployment? I don't know. They might give them, like, food stamps or something. <laughs> Maybe, like, old rations of, like, popcorn from old destitute theaters yeah but as i said earlier i hear he's going to take his mask off that's what i hear he's so, also supposed to have all of his uh his friends here too Yeah, he's supposed to have the guy that played the candy man in the movie the candy man yeah he's supposed to be here and all of his crazy wacky friends the ones he calls the freaks that's right and we're not talking about his in-laws <laughs> <laughs> or mine. No, so but that's going to be in two weeks from today, mm -hmm. April 14th. It'll be the 13th year anniversary. We've only been around here for a year, so yeah. I can't even... So that means he started when he was a little night shadow, Little right? bitty night shadow. <laughs> Growing up, watching Elvira, becoming yeah. hooked. And uh, what was that other one in town here, the L.A. horror host? Dr. I can't remember. Morpheus? Yeah, something like that. Well, there's, there's Doug Graves who's in California. Yeah, he does horror radio KDOA on Life Yeah, Society. and there's Dr. Morpheus. I wonder if we're going to have any of uh, Night Shadow's horror host friends show up, other than you they supposedly should. supposedly saying Elvira's going to show up. Elvira is going to be here. I, I'm telling you, if Elvira's not here, I will run in front of the camera naked. No, I won't. If, if Elvira's no, not no, here... No, 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 no. Ladies and gentlemen, you heard it. No. He will streak no, no. on live television. And then get thrown off of Adelphia <laughs> like I got thrown off of Live 365. I don't think so. The, the audience is not ready for that. Okay. They'd have to get the wide-angle lens. Oh, please. But Elvira will be here. I, I swear. I guarantee you. She will come to Adelphia, Lying. and she will be here live and in person. Lying. Both of them. No. Both of them. Oh. Well. Lying. Hey. Lying. See, the, the guys in the back room, they're waiting. They're getting out their autograph books. Well, they don't get much, you know, there's Renee here every week, and that's pretty much it as far as, as tail. Yeah. So. Well, it's a lonely life here to the Adelphi students. <laughs> yeah. But these guys back here, they get more action than I do. I just know they do. Do they? Have I you do. asked them? I don't know. Do you guys get a lot of action back there? See? See? <laughs> I told you. I know what's going on back there. I mean, I can hear what's going on back there right now. They might, to, you know, sometimes maybe that's why we, we can't ever get back there or hear anything from yeah. them. They're busy. You know that lube they use on the end of the coax cables to give you cable? They use it for <laughs> other things, too, you, here at the studio. You had to, you're on, you're on live television. I am? Oh, my God. <laughs> curb, curb, okay, never mind. It's not going to do any good. But that one person in East L.A. that's watching this show, he'll understand. <laughs> as he has his 47 relatives living in his house. <laughs> Right? They're going to come down and lynch you. And that person's name is Cheech Marin. Oh, Cheech. I love Cheech. God. He's on tour again. He's, hey, he's going to be doing a movie again with Tommy Chong because Tommy got out of prison. And that's a good reason Wasn't to do Wasn't that messed up? Tommy Chong got put away for selling bongs. Now, first of all, what would you expect Tommy Chong to sell? <laughs> 